Hello everyone, in this heat exchanger interview question and answer, today is our topic is falling and scaling in heat exchanger, right? So if you are a chemical engineer, mechanical engineer and process engineer, whether you are fresher or experienced engineer, then this topic is must for you. Because if you are a chemical engineer, mechanical engineer or process engineer, the heat exchanger is very very important for you right and you have studied heat exchanger in the heat transfer subject fine and when you are preparing the heat exchanger for the interview as well as for your knowledge purpose so the falling and scaling is very very important to know okay the concept of falling and scaling is very important to know when you are going through the heat exchanger right so when the falling and scaling comes into the picture so just take one example that uh, there is one heat exchanger which is already in, erected in the plant okay whether it is a refinery plant or any chemical industrial plant right or, or the fertilizer plant okay there is one heat exchanger so when it will be erected and there will be some operation will be going on okay then only the falling and scaling will come into the picture okay while designing or sizing we could take some margin or some factor with respect to falling and scaling right but main like here you can see the picture from the picture the falling and scaling this comes into the picture when it is erected and it is in the operation right so when you are preparing for the interview and you are reading about the heat exchanger so with respect to falling and scaling some questions should be asked for example what is falling and scaling okay what is, what causes the falling and scaling and how to prevent it right then the question could be asked that how you detect the falling and scaling and how do you monitor okay if you are a experienced process engineer chemical engineer or mechanical engineer this question be this question could be asked to you then what is the impact on performance of heat exchanger if there is falling and scaling okay then in the last the question could be asked that what is the mitigation process of the falling and scaling in heat exchanger and what is the maintenance how you do the maintenance okay when there is the falling and scaling so we will discuss each point okay in our next slide so let's start the video if you haven't subscribed our youtube channel you can simply subscribe our youtube channel you can like this video and share this video with your friends so that they could also learn about the falling and scaling if you have any comments or any suggestion about the topics and the videos you can let me in the comments box so the first question is what are the primary factors what are the primary factors which contribute to falling and scaling in heat exchanger and how can they be prevented it means that what is the falling and scaling and how to prevent it so mainly see if there is one heat exchanger is let's suppose if this is your heat exchanger okay and it is in operation okay so after some time you will see that uh, the tube bundle okay gets some deposition okay some deposition of the impurities which is present in the fluid or in a liquid so the falling and scaling occur due to the deposition of solids you can simply see here or you can simply see here or precipitates on heat transfer surface when we say the heat transfer surface it means that your tube okay outer your tube outer surface right or sometimes you can say in cell internal the internal surface of the cell okay and typically caused by impurities in fluid mainly in liquid or sometimes by in chemical reaction so if you will see see this is the surface okay so mainly we know that at the surface the velocity is zero and at the center the velocity is maximum so when in at the surface the velocity will be zero obviously obviously the deposition of the solids will be present there right sometimes the ions the solid ions will be present there right and how to prevent it 
सो द प्रिवेंशन मेजर्स इंक्लूड प्रॉपर फ्लूड फिल्ट्रेशन इन द अप स्ट्रीम ओके इफ इफ यू आर इंश्योरिंग दैट द प्रॉपर फ्लूड फिल्ट्रेशन इज देयर इट कुड ऑब्वियसली प्रिवेंट द फॉलिंग एंड स्केलिंग और रिड्यूस द फॉलिंग एंड स्केलिंग देन रेगुलर क्लीनिंग द रेगुलर क्लीनिंग इज नॉट पॉसिबल बट यस फ्रिक्वेंटली और इन योर एनुअल मेंटेनेंस ओके द ए टी आर ओके इन एनुअल ए टी आर और इन शॉर्ट शट डाउन यू कैन टेक केयर ऑफ इट देन यूज ऑफ इनहेबिटर्स और एंटी कैलेंट यू कैन यूज एंड कंट्रोलिंग द ऑपरेटिंग कंडीशन ओके फॉर एग्जाम्पल योर टेम्परेचर प्रेसर ओके टू मिनिमाइज द रिस्क ऑफ फॉलिंग एंड स्केलिंग ओके सो इन दिस क्वेश्चन वी अंडरस्टूड about the what is scaling and falling and how to prevent it fine and mainly it occurs at the surface of the heat transfer right so please let me in the comments box what is the meaning of the heat transfer surfaces now the next question is how do you detect and monitor falling and scaling in heat exchanger during operation so see there are various methods can be employed to detect the falling and scaling okay during the operation mainly it includes the monitoring the pressure differential obviously if the delta p increases that could be one reason then the delta t could be the one reason okay flow rate and conducting regular inspection this regular inspection is like regular inspection is not that much possible but yes with when we say the regular inspection so if you monitor the delta p delta t and the flow rate it also comes into the regular inspection right okay also the non destructive testing technique see for example ultrasonic thickness measurement in that case what we do we measure the thickness of the tube okay if you will measure the thickness of the tube or with the help of the ultrasonic thickness measurement here you can see the apparatus so what will happen that the let's suppose if the thickness increases what will happen we know the actual thickness of the tube but if it is increased after some time okay so obviously there could be some scaling you can also check by visual inspection okay but this visual inspection is only possible when there is shutdown in the plant and can also be used to access the extent of falling and scaling without interrupting operation okay if you use this method okay in, this is the online method right please let me in the comments box what are the other methods which you use to detect and monitor the falling and scaling in a industry okay and see the one thing sometimes we also do the back washing so we check the parameters through dcs okay if the parameters are not within the range and if it is due to scaling and falling so sometimes we do the back washing also of the heat exchange now the next question is what are the consequences of falling and scaling on heat exchanger performance and how do they affect overall process efficiency okay so this question is very simple if the falling and scaling is there in the heat exchanger so obviously it will reduce the heat transfer efficiency because your heat transfer will not take place all the proper heat transfer will not take place because there is the scaling is there okay and the formation of the solids are there so what will happen that it will resist the heat transfer from one system to another system or from the higher temperature to the lower temperature right it will increase the pressure drop obviously and often result in higher energy consumption and decrease throughput obviously it will happen because see if you have designed one heat exchanger for one specific range okay if there is the if the load will increase on the heat transfer or its efficiency will be goes down obviously the energy consumption will go up then it can also lead to reduce process efficiency okay and it will increase the operating cost because the energy consumption will increase okay and obviously if you if you will not address this problem then pot potentially equipment failure could be occur okay sometimes it could be like, like your tube could be burst up okay and some up downstream equipment could be damaged right
the next question is what strategies can be employed to mitigate falling and scaling in heat exchanger and what maintenance practices are recommended so here simply you can see earlier due to scaling what was the the you can see the surface okay but after scaling you can see here okay this is the difference if you will do the proper maintenance or the cleaning of the heat exchanger okay this is the tube bundle side view so what are the mitigation strategies so the mitigation strategies include regular cleaning using mechanical or chemical method so the mechanical method include your hydrojet okay sometimes we do the hydrojet chemical cleaning also we do in the short shut down or like in your atr or also sometimes we use the use the inhibitors okay and you can install the filters or strainer at the upstream of the heat exchanger to remove the impurities okay you can implement the anti falling coating and you can control the operating parameters with optimal ranges okay that is recommended from the manufacturer that you can refer the document then additionally proactive maintenance schedule we can follow obviously we could follow that okay and we can periodically we can inspect the heat exchanger okay during the short shutdown mainly or in atr we can check it out okay and cleaning routine we can we can make the one schedule okay to help to prevent the falling and scaling build up and we can ensure the continuous heat exchanger performance so i hope you understood about the falling and scaling okay and why this topic is important because when you understand about the heat exchanger right so when you understand about the types of heat exchanger when you understand about the working of the heat exchanger designing of the heat exchanger okay the internal parts of the heat exchanger so this falling and scaling plays a very very important role during the operation to determine the efficiency right so that's all for the today's video if you have any doubt in this video please let me in the comments box i will definitely clear your doubt as soon as possible so that's all for the today's video thanks for watching till then keep learning thank you